So in this little experiment, I'm just going to demonstrate how carbon dioxide can actually make water acidic. So, first of all, I'm just going to use some distilled water. I'm just going to squirt it into this beaker. And I'm going to use some universal indicator. And put that in just to demonstrate that we're currently not, uh, currently this is neutral. So a good squirt of universal indicator and we're green and so green of course is um, is neutral so green is a seven okay now what we're going to do is we're going to simulate acid rain or or another thing we can think about is simulate the acidification of the ocean because the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere much of that is being absorbed by the oceans and um, when that occurs, it actually produces an acid called carbonic acid. So I'm going to put some distilled water into some cotton wool. Okay, now I'm gonna produce some carbon dioxide. I'm gonna do that purely by burning some matches. Okay, here we go. And they're off. I'm just going to let that burn for a little while. And blow it out. And I'm going to capture all of that smoke. Really mainly interested in the, you know, the carbon dioxide there. So let that all absorb. I'm going to put a little bit more water in. Okay, so here we go. So let's remind ourselves with the universal indicator, if we're making something acidic, so pH less than seven, we want to be yellow, orange, or red. Okay, so let's take this water and see what happens to our, um, our neutral water that we've got here. And we can see that it has turned yellow, or maybe even red. Get a bit more of a squirt here, and it's actually turned red. So, what does that mean? It actually means that we've turned the pH to around about pH of four. So it's orange or, or even red. Um, and so, by simply, the carbon dioxide that was produced by burning those matches has produced carbonic acid. And this is what happens with acid rain, and this is what happens with the acidification of the oceans.